last week I rented a Tesla, right? And I rented it for two days initially, which had cost $142.41. And then I rented it out an additional three days. And that was for the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I had a total of five days out there. And I just kind of want to go over the pricing on what it cost me. And if it's viable for somebody to go out there and rent a vehicle, like say a EV vehicle, so electric vehicle, or if it's better to maybe do a gas vehicle or maybe a hybrid vehicle. And I'm just going to kind of cover that real quick here in the next few moments on what my experience is and what I think the best option is for us drivers out there that may own a car or someone that doesn't own a car. And that's the important part here. So let's go over the numbers. Final rental for all five days for me to rent it out was $456. So let's just round it up to $460. And we'll go over those numbers for a week. And we'll see if it's viable for say you that maybe need a new car or you don't have a car and you just want to rent one to see if this is going to work out for you on a weekly basis or you know maybe a monthly basis. You can always extend it out further to get more days and earn more money. During this week rental, I made a total of $1,300 and some change. Let's just round it up to about $1,350 that I made for the week off of Uber and DoorDash. And this is just strictly food delivery, right? Not any of the other gig drivers, no like no delivering people or anything, just delivering food, right? And it cost me $100 to charge this EV. So you can see the, uh, the Tesla rebuild accepted right there, right? In about the center of your screen, it says $100 hundred dollars and 32 cents that's what it cost me to charge the vehicle for the five days so you can call it pr pretty much like 20 bucks per day to charge the ev and at the same time i was renting out that ev at let's see 55 dollars per day 55.69 now i could have got a cheaper rate the lowest rate that i've seen on these teslas was about 42 dollars or 46 dollars per day and that's if you just book it further in advance and book it for you know a week or longer that they give you a little bit of a discounted rate so i did pay a little bit more of a premium on this one and i could have gotten it for a little bit cheaper for me that's not too bad paying 460 dollars just rounded up to five to make it easy i made 1300 so i made it i i netted around 850 to about $900 still for the week by renting out the EV. Now, is this a viable option that I'll be doing consistently? Um, yes and no. Okay, so yes for say the comfort of just a newer vehicle and just riding around more in luxury, I guess is what that would be. So you're paying for the premium of having the luxury for that week of that vehicle or however long that you rent that vehicle out. Now for people that already own a vehicle and specifically like maybe a gas vehicle, not an EV vehicle, um, because obviously we're renting an EV, right? <laughs> so with a gas vehicle, I would say if you already own a gas vehicle, it's most likely, and you know, this is just my two cents, not worth it. Um, I could spend less on my vehicle because there's no car payment on it. All it is is just gas insurance and registration for the year, which comes out to a lot less money than it does to rent out a Tesla for say a week or two weeks or a month or whatever you may be extending that vehicle out for. Now that's just EV. EV would be more expensive to run my car. Now, if you already say own an EV, if you were one of those lucky people that had enough money to go buy a Tesla out there, then I would say, yes, you most likely are winning and saving money over the gas person. But I don't believe that EV person is saving over somebody say in a hybrid car or any car that may get 40 to 50 miles to the gallon. Because if it costs me $20 to, to charge the Tesla for the day, um, I could, I put about $40 in my gas tank and I'm getting about 18 miles to the gallon on my Malibu right now. Now I know people out there in hybrids are getting like 55 miles to the gallon, 40 miles to the gallon, 35 or whatever. So if I could even just double my miles, say from 18 to 36 miles to the gallon, then I would immediately go from $40 per day to $20 per day in gas. And I don't even spend that full 40, just to let you guys know, like I just carry that $40 over into each day and I'm never using like all of the $40. So for somebody that's running an EV vehicle versus a hybrid vehicle, the hybrid owner is going to be spending less on traveling and getting that car to move around. Now, whatever your car payments are and whatever car you bought, that's on you. Those are your payments that you're going to have to be dealing with. But for strictly a sense of moving, which is putting gas in your car, putting electricity in your car, I believe it's cheaper to do the EV route and it's still cheaper to do the gas route. Uh, so did I say EV? It's cheaper to do the hybrid route than the EV route, and it's still cheaper to do a gas power than the EV unless you outright bought the EV and you don't have a car payment, then you might be beating the gas power vehicle, but you're most likely not beating the hybrid. I know that probably got confusing there, but pretty much what I'm trying to say here is EV is worth it if you own the car outright. Gas vehicles will still beat the EV vehicles because the amount of time it takes to charge 
the different rates in charging during the day. If you charge in the morning time, it's like 14 cents per kilowatt per hour. And if you charge at you know, mid, midday, right in the most popular, it's like 40 cents or maybe a little bit more per kilowatt per hour. And if you go towards the nighttime, then it gets cheaper again. So you've got like this, like, this bell curve that happens during the day. And it's, it's best to charge in the morning or best to charge at night. But with this food delivery gig stuff that we do, I need to be able to fill up my car whenever. And I can't be sitting there for 30 minutes missing orders. I'd rather just top off in about three and a half minutes is what it takes to fill up my tank. And if I'm only going to put a half tank in or $40 in, then it's only going to take me like a minute and a half to fill up my tank. So I think it's still worth it to drive your gas powered car and maybe in the future start planning for a hybrid car because that's going to give you the best miles per gallon and that's going to save you in the long run of doing food delivery or gig delivery whatever you're doing out there your next question may be richard are you going to do it again though i mean you just talked about ev and I mean, possibly a bad light right there and yes i will do this again i think it's still a good deal because I don't have car payments. I don't really owe anything other than just putting gas into my car. So for me to spend $460 for a week, make 13 and a half hundred right there, you know, $1,350 for the week, spend about, you know, 450, 500 of that on a rental and still have eight to $900 left over for the week. To me, that's still a win. As a general manager at U-Haul, I was bringing in $800 every two weeks after taxes and BS and everything else that they pulled out of my account. So for me, I definitely will be doing this again and riding in an EV and I like would like to do trips with this. So I think it would be most fun to uh, take the vehicle out of state, go see other cities, go see other states, and you know, just kind of explore and have fun with the EV and, and use it as more of just a, an experience, but not try and use it as something I'm trying to save. Because I know in this world, a lot of people are always looking for the shortcuts. We're always looking for a way to uh, pinch a penny. And I believe living in scarcity is the re main reason why 98% of people live in disharmony in their life. And if you just go out there and have fun and not worry about the BS and the little stuff, don't major in minor things. Focus on yourself more than you focus on your job. And life happens a lot easier and it's a lot more kosher to roll through life. Let's go out there. Let's go do some living. Let's go make $200 today. You can see it's at 920 in the morning and it's Tuesday. Let's go get this. What's up, bro? Enjoy your McDonald's. Thank you. Not very often I get to head to the tractor supply code and pick up some items for the farm. That couldn't have been any easier. Just uh, two little pet bottles. Actually, they wanted three of these little feeding bottles, but they only had two left. Let's go drop it off. Fifteen seventy-five. Not bad. There is your tractor supply code order. Thank you. All right, we're doing some shop and pay right now. We're gonna pay fifteen eighty-five. This is an Uber. I guess I, I got a bunch of fruits right here, and then you know some dog food, some drinks, and you know some miscellaneous items. This one should be a quick, easy one. Already done shopping for it. Didn't take me any more than maybe like ten minutes to grab all of this. So let's go drop it off. All right, enjoy all your Albertsons. Thank you, Uber Eats, 15 and some change. All right, next order here is gonna be some Capriotti sandwiches, like a salad, two party trays. Let's go deliver this one real quick, see what we get paid for it. This is a hand to me customer, so I'm gonna go run it up to their front door real quick. And uh, yeah, that's what I got paid for dropping off this Capriotti's order. Not a bad $23 on that Capriotti's. Time to pick up some famous chicken and waffles and go drop this off for 10 50 Enjoy your spicy chicken. Thank you. All right, we're moving and grooving. Not too bad on that one. We're gonna pick up some uh, Meraki Greek grill here. And this one said it's gonna be 725 plus. We'll see what happens after the drop off. All right, Meraki Greek grill time. Go drop this off. The time is 1240. I've been out here about three hours. I'm sitting at 90 bucks. We made $24 off of Uber right there. And then the other $68 that I made was off of DoorDash right there. And not too bad. I think I'm gonna collect another $10 here before uh, 1 p.m. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot on a break. You know, do half the half day so far. We got a hundred bucks cleared from the system. And then we'll come back out here for dinner time and clear another hundred dollars from the system. And that'll equal our $200 bag for the day. Pretty simple. I mean, you can't beat that. It is way too easy to make money off this app. 12.54, didn't take long for that to happen. Albertsons, 14.75 for 14 items. I think it's 13 items because one of them's like a double for like some energy drinks or something like that. Let's go scoop this up and then I'm going on lunch and uh, you know, hammer it out for some dinner. Super easy, look at this, just some water, some Gatorade, 
some rock stars, some of these little drinks here, some potato salad, a 12 piece uh, chicken, hot chicken, fried chicken right there. Mm, that stuff smells good, obviously, because I'm hungry. I need to go grab some French onion dip real quick, and then we can close this one out. Closed out $14.50 for that one, and then I got a tropical smoothie cafe that literally is dropping off in my neighborhood. No lie, like literally like two streets over from my main street. So I'm gonna go soup that up real quick. It's only for like $5.50, but it is on the way to my house, literally. So let's go grab that real quick. And then I think we're at, a, we're sitting at like 105 bucks right now, or $104 right now. And this will put us at about 110 bucks, $109, maybe nine and some change. And that makes it so we only have to make about 90 bucks for the dinner time. Like I said, I'm gonna go get something to eat, put a little bit of energy into me. Right now it is now 124. So after I'm done with this, I'll probably be done back at my house by 245 or so. And yeah, 145, what did I just say, 245? No, it's not gonna take me two, an hour and 20 minutes, about 20 minutes for me to close this out. And then we'll move on to dinner from there. Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Enjoy, thank you. All right, it's dinner time, 4.36, and it's time to do it. Let's go make 90 something bucks. First one here's gonna be a $7 China one. Look, some snacks and goodies. Enjoy your Chinese food, thank you. Fly it. Where have you been? Frijoles and Fresca, let's go, let's go. 12.50 for this one. Enjoy your burritos, thank you. All right, we got a double stack here. No, not Wednesday. Wendy's double stack. Oh, I almost stuttered that there. Raising Cane's, two orders, $14. It could go up. Cane's number one at the door. Enjoy your Cane's. Okay, and Cane's number two at the door. Enjoy your Cane's. Thank you very much. All right, it's time to grab two orders from BJ's here. One of them's an Uber Eats, and another one is the DoorDash. So we're gonna double team it here. They're both going the same direction, same neighborhood. First BJ's order. Come on, work for me. Please leave on the bench on the left side. I got you, no blocking the door. Thank you very much. Sweet baby rays on a mustard. All right, so we got a shop in, oh, decline. So we got a shop and pay right now for DoorDash. It's got $11, we're at Vaughn's right now. We gotta grab four items, so two of these, and then I gotta grab sushi and some hamburger buns, and that's it, pretty simple. And sushi, that's what they want, let's go. Tonight hasn't been the most popping night. Earlier this morning, I mean, made 100 bucks or 110 bucks in three and a half hours or so. And tonight I've already been out here for three something hours and I'm only sitting at like 70 bucks. So after this drop off, I think I still need to make 29 more dollars after this. And yeah, it's already, uh, it's almost eight o'clock. Let's go, Vaughn's at the door. Time for some habaneros tacos. Got two orders here, it's gonna be like 1540. Both of them are Uber Eats orders. Should be quick and easy here. Let's go, habaneros one. Enjoy your habaneros tacos. Pizza man time, Papa John's. We're sitting at about 185, 190. I'm not too sure until all the Uber tips come in, but it's gonna be about an hour till I can see how much I got on that 15 something. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up for those orders. So this one's a $8 one. So tentatively, this will put us at like, you know, 194, 198 or so. Papa John's coming to the door here. Oh, nice, the light came on either. They just turned it on or there's a spotlight out there. Let's go ahead and get it on the ground here. Hopefully they don't surprise me with the uh, door opening, all right? It's happened plenty of times before. And there you go. Enjoy your pizza. Thank you so much. All right, I finished up that delivery. It's uh, almost like nine o'clock right now, 8.40. And uh, I'm getting thirsty here. I'm gonna give myself something to drink. Got myself a little bit of some bubbly right here, some sparkling water. And I'm sitting at $199.02, literally 98 cents off of 200. Uh, I'm gonna stick it out for the next, you know, like 15 minutes. It's 8.45 right now. So I'll stick it out till nine o'clock. Hopefully I can collect one more delivery here, but it's really slowed down. I mean, Uber isn't even popping off and usually that thing is going off like crazy on my phone here. So I'll see what happens in the next 15 minutes. Hopefully I can pick up another order, shoot over that $200 goal. If not, 199 in my book is still 200. I'm not gonna complain over that. Lulls right back to Papa John's for one more. Last one here, this one would be six bucks. This will definitely throw us over that $200 bag for tonight. Final delivery there all done for the night. It is a uh, 9 12 and I've already pulled back into my house here sitting in my driveway and I've made 200 and I think four dollars or 205 dollars. I'll throw up the totals right there. You guys can you know use calculator and add it all up but I know I'm over that 200 dollar bag for today. So a successful day. I think I did about eight hours of dashing maybe eight and a half hours. So my first shift was about three and a half hours and this shift I came out at 4 30. It's nine o'clock right now. Let's call that four and a half hours. Eight hours dash time 200 bucks. You can't beat that. I mean you could beat that obviously but that is not bad for a food delivery job. I'll take that every single day that I come out and do dashing. Hope you guys are smashing your goals out there. I hope you guys appreciate today's episode and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace.